In this video we share Fatima, Russia, and the prophecy of Saint Maximilian Kolbe. Father Maximilian Kolbe passed through Moscow on the long journey that took him from Japan to Poland, where he returned and later died in a concentration camp, offering his life for a prisoner. It was Father Pierre Coyon who said that, right in Red Square, Father Kolbe looked at the Kremlin and said. One day, the Immaculate Conception will reign over the Kremlin and from the Kremlin over the whole world. On the eve of the Second World War Pius XII wrote, let us pray with a simple and tireless soul the most sweet mother of God, whom the Russian people venerate and love very much, so that she may pray for the desolate children, in the most short space of time possible, the magnificent gift of God, the freedom to profess the faith. And in 1952, the same Pope consecrated the Russian population to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and said, This time will pass and the faith will return to shine in Russia. One day its bright light will be seen from west to east. That prophecy of Pope Pius XII had been anticipated by the prophecy of Father Maximilian Kolbe. In the apparition of July 13, 1917 to the Three Little Shepherds, who at the time believed that the name indicated a woman, the Virgin had linked to the fulfillment of her requests the promise of peace and the conversion of Russia, which otherwise he would have spread his errors throughout the world. As is well known, the Bolshevik Revolution had not yet taken place, even though socialism had been spreading throughout the country for decades, infecting mainly intellectuals and students. There is no need to recall the tragic consequences of not responding to the Fatima appeals, but perhaps the deep and devastating long-term effects of the Second World War and of the communist regimes have not been fully grasped. Father Maximilian Kolbe was arrested in Poland in February of 1941, and in May sent to the Auschwitz death camp. As prisoner number 16,670, he eventually laid down his life for another prisoner on August 14, 1941, at the young age of 47. By the late 1940s the cause for Father Maximilian Kolbe's beatification had begun. He was beatified by Pope Paul VI in 1971 and canonized by his fellow Pole, Pope John Paul II in 1982. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Saint Maximilian Kolbe, pray for us. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.